Now I'll start with P1Z node to configure the ISIS for it. I will open the design document which includes ISIS net ID. I will take the ISIS net ID for P1Z node. I'm going to copy it and paste it into the ISIS configuration file. I'm going to paste the net ID in the network entity command ISIS level 2 cost style wide timer LSP generation flash float level 2 timer SPF and finally traffic engineering level 2 this is the configuration for ISIS 1 now I'm going to check on the interfaces from P1Z node out which we need to run ISIS so that it can form peering with these devices in the SP network I'm going to copy these interfaces of P1Z node connected to these nodes in the SP network and paste it into the configuration file I have to prepend the interface with int short for interface and I have to change and replace E with I in the GE interface for Giga Ethernet so that it can be accepted in the CLI and I'm going to add command ISIS enable one under each interface this is to enable ISIS under each needed interface also we need interface loopback 0 to be enabled with ISIS so that it can be advertised to all routers I removed the unneeded interfaces and now I will copy the entire configuration of the ISIS and paste it into the CLI mode inside P1Z I need to go to the system view and paste the copied configuration now I have added the required configuration for P1Z node I'm going to do same for P2Z node I have to go to the design document and copy the ISIS net ID of P2Z node I'll copy the net ID and paste it into the configuration file of the ISIS in the network entity command and now I'll go to check the interfaces for P2Z node these are the interfaces for P2Z node I'm going to copy these interfaces and paste into the configuration file of the ISIS prepend the interface name with int short for interface and replace E with I in GE interface which stands for Giga Ethernet GI must be added in order to be accepted in the CLI mode and I'll add ISIS enable one under each interface and also I will need interface loopback 0 these are all the interfaces connected to the neighboring nodes and this is the entire configuration of the ISIS I'm going to copy it and paste it into P2Z node I'll select P2Z node and go to system view paste the copied configuration for P2Z node other remaining nodes will be configured same way as we did for P1Z node and P2Z node now 
I'll go to PE3 Z node to configure the ISIS for it. I will exclude the interface connected to the customer node ISIS for only the MPLS network. This is PE3 Z node with the interfaces and interface Giga Ethernet 000 should be excluded. I'm going to copy these interfaces into the ISIS configuration file and I will add interface to the interface name and exclude this interface 000 because it's connected to the customer side and add command ISIS enable under each interface and I'll open the design document and copy the net ID for PE3Z and I'll paste it into the configuration file in the network entity command now I'll copy the entire configuration file for the ISIS and paste it into PE3Z Thank you for viewing this video. I hope it can add a good value to you.